Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls. What's going on today, Raven? You can tell, as everyone else can tell, it's the bag ball. We're both wearing bags. This is a gift bag that I just cut and manipulated into a little something. I love your turban. I'm glad that you're getting gifts in such fancy bags. Look at you. Are you glad? <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> you got, she got jokes. She's got jokes. That Raven, she's a funny one. If you've never worn a bag or a trash bag in drag, have you even done drag? No, you have not. Precisely. All right, so this is gonna be a very, very involved episode because there's 36 looks to get through. There's three different sections of it. And the first section of it is mixed bags. These are costumes that the girls brought themselves. We're gonna give ourselves a lightning round. Let's go. First category is mixed bag. First girl to the stage is Denali. Oh, I live. She's an airbag. She's gone as the test dummies that are used in car crashes and she is a an airbag and I love it. I love the hinges, I love everything about it. I think it's very, very smart and it's very edgy, very cool, very stylish. And I probably would wear this anywhere, Trader Joe's. <laughs> yeah, two. It's an absolute two. Next we bring Joey J as an IV bag. I give this a... Boot. Boot, I give this a boot. Next we have La La Ree. Toot. That's a toot. Next we have. That's Elliot with two T's as a gift bag. Oh, toot. That's a toot. Next we have. <laughs> <laughs> Tamisha Iman is an old bag. I love it. It's a toot. Toot. <laughs> I love it. Next we have. Simone, fun bags. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Diana Ross, bitch. Two. <laughs> that is a two. Next we have Olivia Lux, punching bag. Oh, punching bag. Very Simone from earlier, but uh, okay. Toot. Toot. Next we have Got Mick, body bag. Got Mick. I love it. It's a toot. Toot. Next we have... Rosé bagpipes. <laughs> I love that. Rosé, you rule. Toot. Toot. Next we have... Tina Burner. Trash bag? Mm-hmm, there's garbage on it. A bag of booze? What does her necklace say? Liquor store. Oh, she's a brown paper bag. Brown paper bag. Yeah, toot. Toot. Next we have... Candy Muse, bag of tricks. Oh. Oh, that's cute. It's cute, it's two, yeah. Two. Next we have... Utica, doggy bag. Okay. It's a two. Um, yeah, two. Next category is Miss Moneybags. This is like the executive realness portion of the ball. A bitch that looks like she means and owns a business. Category is Miss Moneybags. Denali. I love this look. I love it. I think she looks sophisticated. I love that hat and I give it a toot. Two. Next we have Joey J. I could not be less interested in this outfit. <laughs> this is girl yeah, no mom this is this this sis no mom and no dad Ma it's not no good. mom no that's dad no marys <laughs> after drag race when we get to perform in front of people that's what that's the meet and greet outfit yeah no i don't see her that's a boot i'm gonna give it a boot next we have la la Ree. La La Re. I love this. I love that she's just gone with her bald head. I love the colors. I love the, the style of the dress. I think she looks fabulous. I give it a toot. Me too, toot. Next we have... Elliot with two T's. It fits her well. She looks beautiful. Red says power. And she is giving me power. Love it. She looks sexy. And that is a toot. That's a toot. Next we have... 
Tamisha Iman. Tamisha Iman, the scarf is very like uh, 80s. Maybe that's what she was going for. There was a time when Oprah Winfrey would only wear scarves on her shoulders in the 80s. And uh, it's very that, and it just kind of just doesn't fit. No mom, no sis, no dad, no. No brother? <laughs> no. <laughs> no Mary and no Larry. <laughs> no, not for me. This is a boot. Boot. Next we have. Simone. Sexy, the color's gorgeous on her. That hair is perfect on her. She looks gorgeous. Into it, I give it a toot. Toot. Next we have. Olivia Lux. I don't get money bags. She looks like she's uh, going to Hogwarts. She looks like she's wearing a school uniform. It's a boot. I give this a toot. Next we have. Got Mick. Oh my God, come on, Got Mick. Yes, 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 absolutely. Everything about it, the hair, the half suit, the ruffled the toot. Come on, that's fabulous. Toot. Next we have. Rose. You know what this is from, right? Big business. Big business. Oh my gosh, yes. We love a Bette Midler reference. It is a toot. Toot. Next we bring Tina Burner. Very nice, very nice. Toot. Toot. Next we have. Candy Muse. Oh my God, wait, first of all, listen, if you're gonna wear, oh my God, there's a few <laughs> levels of this. I like I like the money in the hair. I think that's really clever. I like that she's got the blonde and, oh man, if you're gonna wear lingerie, sis, listen, the, if you're gonna wear a garter with the stocking, they have to meet. Otherwise, get one of them off. That belt is supposed to hook onto the stocking. It doesn't give me money bags. I'm sorry, I give this a boot. Boot. Next, we bring to the stage. Utica. I think she's supposed to say, oh my gosh, I'm so rich. Look at my earrings. No, not into it. Don't get it. Uh, it's a boot. Boot. Now they have to give the look they created in the workroom for their final and third look of the ball. Now they had to use different bags to create these looks. They were given all sorts of bags to create. So they don't have to be something that screams bags, but they had to have created something out of bags. This is my favorite. I love it when queens make their things and I'm going to be very brutal on this because you know what? If you can't be resourceful, then why do drag at all? Then I don't want to see ya. Goodbye, no. So bring on the girls. Final category is Gagas with your bagas. Denali. Yeah, I love it so much. I would have liked more flowers along that trellis that she's wearing around yes. her head. That would have made it really super grandiose. And it could have been easily achieved by just scrunching up a bunch of more bags, really. But really? Come on, what am I, I have nothing to complain about this look. I think she's done it so well and beautifully. And it has that really nice sort of Day of the Dead theme to it, which I really appreciate. I agree, I love it. And like you want more in the in the trellis, I kind of want more skirt. I want a little more, maybe if it kind of did um, a little bit fuller in the back. I wish there was more skirt, but um, it's a toot. And I love this look and I'm gonna give it a toot. Next we bring to the stage. Joey J. I think it's beautiful. I think there's weird dimensions to it. I love the textures of it. I love that she put a wig on. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, it just goes to show that even if you put a wig on, you could still look beautiful and edgy. And I love polka dots. I love anything with polka dots. And I like bigger polka dots. Kind of makes it a little more whimsical. And I love all the layers. I love all the layers. And I love the top piece around her neck. It is a toot. That's a toot. Next, we bring to the stage La La Ree. Mm. <laughs> Girl. La La Ree, come on now. No, this, this is a boot. This doesn't translate at all. I mean, it's, come, no. It's literally just bags, not even repurposed, just glued onto something and said, okay, I'm gonna go. I like that she took a purse and made it like a like a little faux hawk out of it. Cute. But the garment itself, no bitch. Mm -mm. There's craftiness involved in this and you have to have a certain type of vision. You know, that those are all little gift bags. If each one of those gift bags was stuffed with tissue. Okay. To add volume and make it more special or if she put tissue or inside the bags and formed a skirt belt or something to create a sort of ballet skirt out of gift bag. But you can't just glue the 
things onto a bodysuit and expect people to be impressed by it. All the way to season 13, knowing there's gonna be a ball and one of the looks you're gonna have to create there. And it seems like she did not come prepared. You could have cut these bags apart and put them together and made some sort of like a patchwork skirt or uh, some sort of something that looked like it was created out of tiles or a mosaic or something, but to just take bags and glue them onto a corset or a high-waisted pant, I don't know. No, boot. Boot. Next to the stage we bring... Elliot with two T's. Oh bitch, she made a cape, a clutch, a sarong, and a top. That is gorgeous. She looks resort as and all the colors go together and she's used the bags in such a cool and an inventive way. You know, simple because, you know, it's just separates, but all goes together in the end. I would have lost a necklace. Bef two. Two. Next, we bring to the stage... Tamisha Iman. Mm -mm. Oh, Tamisha Iman, no. Remember when you were talking about like the quilting and tiling? She did all that, but what about the styling? The flaps or peplums, the peplums that she put around the, the top of the skirt and then the shoulder pieces didn't need to be there. It looks like it would have been a fierce look without that. I'm afraid that she looks like a little bit of piñata. It does look a little paper mache, which, you know, wouldn't be bad if it all kind of went together, but it looks like she's wearing three different looks. And, and then a black pump to go with it. Well, it's going with her Whitney Houston gauntlets and choker. And it's not right and it's not okay. It's a boot. I give it a boot. And the thing is, is she makes her own stuff and there's other things that she's made that we've loved. Maybe she does well when she's got time, but in a crunch, in a pinch, it was not. Mm -mm. Next we bring to the stage. Simone. It's cute. You know, I love a nautical. I love a nautical. Yes, it's very simple. I kind of wish she could have done a little bit more. When you look at it, you don't realize she's wearing bags. This is a bag repurposed. It could have been a little more, but it's cute. I love the hair. I love that she took one apart and wrapped the straps around to like do that alternating ponytails. So it's cute. It's a two. That's a two. Next we bring to the stage. Olivia Lux. So she took little makeup bags and created this kind of reptilian armor. Sort of poison ivy-ish, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into it. I love it. I think it's inventive. I love the use of all of that holographic texture. And I think she's done a really fabulous job with it. I love the hair color with the color of the outfit. I love everything. Yeah, it's really good. It makes her look sexy. I think it's wild. I think it's it's something that, that's meant to be on, on the stage. So I give her a two. Two. Next we bring to the stage... Got Mick. Yeah, I want to wear this immediately and I would have expected nothing less but something as cool as this on Got Mick. A very, very inventive and creative person already to begin with. Uh, that's amazing. That has got super style to it. It is very modern, very current, and it's just edgy. I give it a two. Shoot. Next we bring to the stage. Rosé. Uh, yes! She's taken the purses and cut them in half or something. Oh my God, brilliant. Be I love the whole thing. The hair, the top, the skirt, everything. Absolutely incredible. Beautifully done. Love it so much, I give it a toot. Absolutely toot. Next we bring to the stage Tina Burner. I actually kind of like this. Really nice, beautifully made. I like a little fascinator. It depends on what is going on with it. Like she could use something a little more substantial. Maybe she just likes small, n not so substantial headpieces. <laughs> it looks great on her. It's not, I wouldn't say it's super spectacular, but it's really nicely done and it looks nice on her and she's, she's really done a great job. So I give her a two. Yeah, it's a two. Next we have Candy Muse. Oh, I think this is cute. 
I think it's kind of cute too. Now, we were talking earlier about Lala Ree taking bags and just kind of plop, 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 plop. Looks like she's done this as well, but she's done it in a way that's more fashionable. She's done it far more than that. She didn't just glue bags onto her. There, there's placement, there's styling to this. There's a color scheme that's working here. I mean, it even goes into the little barrettes in her hair. And there's a theme. The category is school, as they'd say in Paris is Burning. You know, it's not just the glued on paper bags. This is, you know, she's transformed these backpacks into a bra, into a skirt, and the clips in the hair. And then when you look down into the shoe, it adds that whole Crayola school effect that I'm really digging on this. And I'm going to give this a toot. Toot. Next, we bring to the stage Utica. And she made this out of sleeping bags. I love this. She's giving me Montclair vibes. She's going into the snow. She's sleeping bags. I love this. I love the padding and the quilting effect that, that the sleeping bags have made for it. It adds a really nice, you know, fashion-y volume to it. And the hood. It's beautiful. I give it a two. That's a two. Trend alert! Metallic. Metallic. Metal Heavy fabric. metal. Silver. Gold. She puts the licks in metallics. Metallics. Our, Our top, top two of the, the week, week is. Utica! Utica, work queen. Utica, Utabong. Don't sleep on Utica. Congratulations, Utica. Yes, God. Get into it. Mm. Be sure to catch RuPaul's Drag Race season 13 on VH1 every Friday night. And if you do not have VH1 where you're at, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus. I gotta go take out the trash. You are trash. Yeah, I'm gonna go sit on the curb. See you next week. Bye. Girls.